So heat number 12 off the inside for Australia is Jason Doyle. Gate number two for France is Dimitri Berger. Having a great night. Leon Madsen out of gate number three for Denmark. And off the outside is Timo Lati, Finland. Smashing line up this and uh, Berger very impressive last time. Berger um, uh, only dropped a couple of points tonight in his three outings. Takes up, underway. Get to the first corner and Doyle's just about got there. Berger's alongside him. Certainly Leon Madsen now square in the corner off, trying to find some speed. Madsen charging up the inside, but he finds not a lot of racing room. Can he squeeze past Berger? It's very tight indeed for second and third. Madsen just about making, managing to do so. Doyle out in front. He's going to have to have eyes in his back of his head here because Madsen's coming on strong. Yeah, Madsen's got a lot of straight line speed, but tell you what, Dimitri Berger is looking for a creep around the inside. Jason Doyle, and here comes Madsen. Really is generating speed, he's got a lot of speed in that bike under him, oh! confidence now Doyle goes third, Berger what a ride, brilliant stuff from Berger coming through in the second place Leo Madsen, absolutely jet propelled out in front disappointment once again for Team Australia and Timo Lati out the back, but Leo Madsen absolutely cruising out in front, and Denmark are looking good for the final here there is racing to come, and plenty of racing to come, but Denmark Clearly on top form here tonight in semi-final number two in the Speedway World Cup. Disappointment for Australia there with Doyle slipping back to third place with a, another very impressive ride. And an important ride for Team France from Dimitri Berger. Leo Madsen for Team Denmark, three points. Dimitri Berger back in second place, two points for France. Jason Doyle for Team Australia, one point there. And Timo Lati for Finland misses out. And that's the France leapfrog Finland back into third place. Yo-yoing every race there. But Denmark now more than six points in front on 29 points to 22. Yeah, this is following a very similar pattern to... Uh, Team Great Britain and Sweden last night. Uh, we can see from the start now it's Jason Doyle that hits the front, creeps right around the inside. Berger there just uh, looking for a way around the outside and Leon Madsen has to put the brakes on as they end to uh, turn three on the first lap there. And uh, it comes under fire though here from Dimitri Berger. He will not give in. And uh, Leon Madsen, he's got such good straight line speed. We said he'd like this track. He likes a track that's fairly smooth, got a little bit of grip but not too much. And there, just working around the outside, really does generate a lot of speed on oh, that third really line. Nicely it doesn't there. weigh a lot, and it, I think that helps him on a track like this. Do you know what, Dimitri Berger, France have got a total of 11. Berger scored nine of them. Yeah, he's been a busy boy, hasn't he? He has indeed. What an effort from him. That really is impressive indeed. And um, uh, it's um, uh, a fine ride once again there from the young French rider.